Hi, I'm Shakira Lachey here at Revenge Media. I'm at the world famous Waldorf Astoria Hotel in New York City for Couture Fashion Week NYC. I'm standing next to Andres Aquino. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Thank you for coming to the show. It was a pleasure. Your work was truly, truly amazing. Very impressed at your garments. Um, I noticed just the movement and the motion that you had in your show it wasn't just a typical show. Why is that? I don't do typical shows. <laughs> All my shows have some dramatic or some theatrics involved in it. Because we always have performers and dancers, so special effects, I think. But it's always it's an, it, finding an interesting way to present the garments. Mm -hmm. Because the garments otherwise would be just like another show. I want my show, the people to be there to be entertained. They're coming to have a good time, see the fashion, see the beautiful girls, who are totally accessorized and we have you. This is the idea. And then when you have a lot of singing and dancing as part of the, uh, part of the show, Mm -hmm. It just uh, becomes not just a fashion show, but, but, but an event. Right. And this is the difference. We've been doing this for the past few years. In the past three, four seasons, each season, I will do, we'll do something totally different. And okay. I know that the audience is always expecting, what is he going to do next? So it's always we like, always have to figure out something what for the next one. It's always, always the challenge. But it's a lot of fun. And th this is really the idea. So this time, you paired, you paired your work with the um, accessories from Didier Piero? Yes, we actually have accessory uh, jewelry from Didier Piero, and we have shoes from uh, Charmian, Charmian, which is a new, um, uh, what's it called, a chic boutique, actually in San Diego, California. Yes, I get to speak with you her. You get to speak to her. So she, she bring all these beautiful <laughs> shoes from Italy, and okay. then we, ma so we have the jewelry from France, the shoes from Italy, and the dress, and everything else from New York. <laughs> okay, put a little New York in there. Yes, yes, <laughs> a little New York in there, why not? Now, how, how do you decide to pick these accessories for, for your garments? How did you? Colors, really. The main thing is color and whether you're doing something, like in this case, we want to do something bold. Mm -hmm. The gowns to be more classic and simple and feminine, and then the accessory to be bold. The makeup, the hair bold. Everything like over the top to make it more artsy. You make more of an artistic state, statement, basically. Okay. And it makes it more exciting because if you match everything, imagine if we have like little jewelry, little diamond, little thing, eh, we it's lost. Boring. It'd be boring. We like but big. now, we like one bold, big, you know, the whole thing. This is the concept here. So that was the idea for this particular collection. And it worked out, uh, to my understanding, very and, well. and the surprise of the, uh, the way well. the audience received it, things like that was pretty good. Very well. Okay. I want to ask you, um, how, do you, how do you keep your garments the main focus um, to make sure we don't look too much at the jewelry? Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, it, it's all about the garment, always. Okay. It's always about the garment. So what you do, whether you accessorize something, you add this detail or that detail, or do the hair, the makeup, but at the end of the day, you look at the model, you look at the theatrics, and then you go back and look at the garment. Okay. And they just make it a little <laughs> more interesting to look at the garment this way. That's what it is. Instead of just presenting the, some designers choose to do the opposite of what I do. They're more sim simple and minimalistic in the presentation, so the makeup is minimum, the hair is minimum. Me, I, I like to go over the top. I want, I want, I each, I want each one of these artists <laughs> to express themselves. So I want to give them free, the free reign, okay? You can paint faces amazing, do your job. You can do hair <laughs> fabulous, do your job. You know, whatever they want to do, let them do it. You know, why not? Angelus, where are you re originally from? I'm originally from the Dominican Republic. And now that I'm, I see this beautiful girl over there, you know, one, you, know, you remember the last girl that walked with the, in the red dress with the heart? Yes, okay. I do. Okay, this, it, was, it was the song that, she, that you heard in the background mm -hmm. uh, was sing by this uh, very talented young, young singer. Come here, come here, love. Let me introduce you. Yes, and yes, that, yes, let's bring yes, it back. Yes. We, we had, yeah. a chit -chat. We had a little chit-chat. We had a little chit-chat. So we had this uh, beautiful poem that I wrote called She Wore Black Lipstick. And then she, you wrote that? Yes. Wow. And she put music to the lyrics and created this beautiful uh, song, beautiful tune, and then she went there and entertained amazing. us. And made some, she has an amazing voice. Obviously, it was very beautiful to have her singing the song. Wow. So, it was so an, again, another collaboration between artists. This is what it is. So you guys are a pair, so you have to always use her. We talked about Oh, I this. didn't know that part, but now we know. <laughs> and you should listen. That's, you should always use her. <laughs> We're a pair now. Okay. And just where can we see more of your garments? you have a, a website? Can we purchase? Yes, you can go to couturefashionweek.com or my own name, andresaquino.com, and then from there you can link up to a lot of the, uh, the shows and the videos and the photos from the different shows. Okay, thank so, you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's truly a pleasure. Amazing, amazing work. And you look Thank fabulous, you. by the way. Purple is yes. my favorite color. This is, uh, I got this little rag from one of the guys that is showing with us here. <laughs> <laughs> so, same thing with the watch. Uh, 
from oh, a wow. company called Azar. I said, okay, guys, I like this business of uh, like interview because they all want to be to wear these things. I said, sure. Do you know the funny thing is, when you start getting things, people want to give you more things. So true. But we must remember the people that don't have anything that we can give something to. And that's Very why we're going to do the auction today for Haiti, to give to those who really don't have anything. Because what's the point to having everything when you don't share? You got to share. Very true. Thanks for reminding us. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have a good evening. I'll let you run. Thank, Thank you, you so Thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Once again, I'm Shakira Lachey here at Revenge Media, New York City, at the Waldorf Astoria Hotel for Couture Fashion Week.